Hey guys, Drifter here. Today's video is something that you're probably not going to believe, and I'm kind of even reluctant to talk about because of how unbelievable it is, but we're going to get to that in just a second. The gameplay that you're seeing right now is me going on Attack 45 Tear on Hijacked in Black Ops 2, and the gameplay was very specific because of the connection values here. I am playing on a perfectly average Call of Duty connection, not the best or the worst, and I know that very specifically because I've been measuring pings. I've found a pretty creative way to measure pings in Call of Duty on the fly, like dynamically, like so every game I connect to, I don't worry with those stupid green bars that are kind of vague on what they mean, I just, uh, I'm able to see the host and able to see exactly what my ping is to that host and the game quality and a lot of other things, and I'll, I can't unfortunately reveal how right now because that's wrapped up in an NDA, but I'll probably be un able to unveil it in a couple of days. Uh, but what is shocking is that the ping values are actually quite low. Call of Duty is almost infamous for being, uh, well, not almost, it really is infamous for being a laggy game, where weird things happen, where, you know, people are able to quickscope you faster than you can react, where enemies eat bullets, where your bullets are basically marshmallows that feed the enemy instead of damage them, and all sorts of goofy things like this. And I assumed that when I went to Call of Duty to test out average pings and see, you know, exactly what kind of connections we'd be getting, I assumed they'd be terrible. I assumed I'd be getting in like 100 millisecond games all the time, 200 millisecond games, a couple of lower ones than that, and just absolutely miserable. What I found out was actually kind of the opposite. The majority of my games had a ping of less than 50 milliseconds, which I consider good. Now, some people are very particular about their pings. Some people uh, really like it really, really low. But uh, I would say that most people won't notice much under, like, 60 to 75, and most of mine were under 50. If I had to do an average, I'd probably say about 35 or 40. Now, do bear in mind that I am playing in in the central US on a major like backbone like fiber backbone and with a really good connection so if you're in the middle of nowhere if you're in a different country if your internet is just naturally not as good your results may vary but it, it's still surprising because I still get bad hosts on occasion now don't get me wrong I tested a whole bunch of stuff and I got some horrible hosts I got some hundred millisecond plus games and I also got I also got some pretty amazing one I played in one or two games that were right around 12 minutes milliseconds which was a uh, really solid call of duty and the funny thing was that in both the really bad connection games and in the both the really good connection games the amount of BS was pretty similar now it was a little worse in the bad games but it, there was definitely some there even with a 12 millisecond connection we're still getting what we'd call the standard COD BS the weird kills and that sort of stuff and uh, I was I was thinking and I couldn't really wrap my head around it because my connection is godlike like 12 millisecond connection in a game is just awesome. You don't do a whole lot better than that if you're not doing on LAN, and yet still I wasn't, you know, warrioring people and they were doing things to me, and it kind of occurred to me that maybe it's not my connection that's the problem. Maybe somehow in Call of Duty, and you know, the lag comp is all kind of secret and wishy-washy and hard to lock down, and I've talked about it through 800 videos on this channel, it's actually the other player's bad connection dragging me down, making my gameplay bad, and causing their, you know, the, my bullets to not count because they've already killed me on their screen because I couldn't react, because they couldn't upload it uh, fast enough because their ping was too bad because of a dozen other different things. Uh, that was that was a problem, uh, and I think I didn't I, was, I didn't ping those players individually because I I don't know how yet. I can't pick out the name and the IP, so that doesn't really work. But what I found is that other people's connections are what's dragging it down. If your connection is good at home, if you're solid, if you don't have any problems, and your game is still laggy or crappy, odds are it's everybody else in the game is have, has a crappy connection, or at least a couple of people do, and that's where you're getting most of your oddities. And that's, uh, I don't really have a perfect conclusion for you here. I don't really have some sort of magical, mythical revelation, uh, revelation except for the fact that the average connection is pretty damn good. It's actually better than my League of Legends connection, which kind of makes me sad, because those are all on dedicated servers. Um, but it, but it's definitely odd, and while I was playing, there were lag spikes, and uh, this might have to do with a host on his internet, or her internet, downloading different things, or uploading something, or just something wonky on my internet, but just like any game, the, the connection does go up and down, and there were some kind of spikes of bad host and bad connection, and even though that happened, the, the kind of BS didn't really correlate with the spikes a whole lot. Uh, maybe maybe one or two really bad ones. So again, I'm kind of left in the dark here on how to optimize your connection for Call of Duty, because I've got mine 
pretty much excellently optimized. My connection can't get much better for Call of Duty with what I'm doing with it, and I, I'm not going to go into the details at the moment. But uh, the, it, that doesn't relieve me from all the problems associated with Call of Duty lag, which again gets back to the thing that it's it's probably everybody else's internet. It's probably like somebody in the lobby is is lagging a bit or more than one person. It's there. It's them that's causing the nonsense. And I guess I'm kind of rambling at this point. I don't really know what else to talk about other than that I find this very unusual and I don't have an answer for it. But I'm going to keep digging at it and looking at it and compiling data and try to find something interesting for you. But I'm just still shocked here. I'm just still shocked that the connection values were as good as they were for as weird as these games feel. I am I'm astonished. It doesn't even make sense to me. I might be doing something wrong. I don't know, but it's it's definitely very odd. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you learned a little something useful. Just a little brain teaser here, something to scratch your head about and wonder. And if you've got any good suggestions for me on something to test, if it's possible, I'll try. I hope I don't stun myself. Or if you have any idea on what could be going on, be sure to let me know. I'll, I read all the comments and stuff, or just send me a message and I'll look into it. That's all for this video. Drifter out.